Give us a call with your answer at 570-4302. And we ask again, who's catching the big ones? We'll find out when First Sports continues. This sports segment brought to you by Bay Transmissions. Award-winning Scott Buick, Tampa Bay's number one volume Buick dealer, leads the way again with the lowest prices, best selection, and complete customer satisfaction. Buying or leasing, you'll save the price. The new Dodge at your local Gold Star Dodge dealer today. And welcome back to First Sports. Yes, it is imitated. No, it is never duplicated. It is Bob's Big Fish Stories and nearly five years strong. Do not adjust your set. This one a little fuzzy, but then again, who hasn't been at one time or another? Samantha Carey with her dad helping her in the background, showing us a six pound snook she caught in Apollo Beach using the lucky shrimp you can get over at Fisherman's One Stop in Gibsonton. Uh, Samantha, we're gonna send you some things that come from Rick Plour and the folks over at Boniker and Lee, and also, why not take dad out to dinner? It's at Ryan's Steakhouse. It's courtesy of John Ponzo and the guys at Ryan's. Chris Vasquez has waited a long time to be on the big show. Back in August, he caught this seven and a half foot sailfish. His wife, Dana, sent us the picture. Chris, you better give her a big kiss because uh, you've won this Rubbermaid Pro Series Tackle Box, the ultimate organization for the serious fishermen. It's as easy as one, two, three. You catch them, you take a picture of them, and you can send them. Our address, 365 105th Terrace Northeast in St. Pete. The zip here, 33716. Don't forget to include the phone number so we can call you and let you know when you're going to be on the big show. All right, let's see who's keeping up with Magic Johnson's career. Tonight we are asking, in which year did he first win his most valuable player award in the NBA playoffs? The answer, 1980, when he played every position, I believe, including center, because Kareem was uh, hurt. The winner tonight... Jim Nero of Hudson and Jim, we're going to send you this hat courtesy of Valvoline. Baseball, the Cardinals hosting the Pirates. Brian Jordan at the plate. Woo -hoo -hoo! He hit a three run shot yesterday. Cardinals beat the Pirates today 4 2. Tomorrow, a big, big, big Thursday. It's another show you won't want to miss. A couple of reasons why. Here we go. We're going to hear from the Gators as they get ready for Thursday's game. Also, we'll have some tennis, the light and lively doubles, and the Tampa Bay Lightning back on the ice. You'll see the highlights right here first on First Sports. We're glad you can join us on this Wednesday night. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Start your vegetables. <laughs> it's the Lunchbox Derby, a competition to see who can design, build, and race, model, build, cars made completely from fruits and vegetables. <laughs> it happened this week at Shore Acres Elementary School in St. Petersburg. Teams of fifth graders, four members each, put together their produce productions, then released them down to the fifth Join uh, Bob Alvarez right now with uh, a little preview as to uh, what is coming up in First Sports. Bob, what do you have? Well, John, the West Fox Derby has me hungry right now. But let me tell you, I don't know how much of this my heart can take in the NCAA Tournament Overtime in the West Regional. you got to stick around for this. Plus, we're going to hear from the Gators getting ready for tomorrow's game against UConn. We have the Lightning and a whole lot more. It's tonight in First Sports. It's a first. Alvarez and Pat Boyle. Hey, welcome to a wild Thursday night edition of First Sports. The Lightning have now gone winless in eight games tonight. They lost in New Jersey. Enrico Ciccone, the new guy, and this is why they got him, to beat guys up. But I'm not sure you got the best of that one. Uh, first period, Niedermeyer to Millen to Bobby Holik. It's 1-0 New Jersey. Taking out of the third period, New Jersey, Scott Stevens shoots. It trickles through the blue. It's 2-0 New Jersey. Here's the lone lightning goal. Klima to Chris Joseph, the one-timer. It's 2-1. Lightning loses. Lightning hosts Dallas on Sunday. Here are your scores tonight. Philadelphia picks up some ground on Florida. Boston has a lead in the third period. 
Pittsburgh wins tonight big time. San Jose just gets past the Maple Leafs. And the Z Black Hawks have a lead in the third period. All right, wake up the family. Get them out of bed. This is history. Second period, Wayne Gretzky, top of your screen, gets the puck back. Gretzky scores. There's the record right here. Wake Grandpa up so he can see this one. Gretzky one more time. Goal number 802 of his career happened last night about 12-15. Gordie Howe's record now gone. NBA tonight looks like this. They are in overtime. Boston looking to crack a six-game skid. The Knicks trying to win 11 in a row. Houston with a three-point advantage in the fourth quarter. Denver by eight at the half. Three late games tonight in Seattle, Golden State, and Sacramento. The dancing has begun. Tonight, the Sweet 16 showed their moves. We'll begin in Knoxville, Marquette, and Duke. Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski uh, watches the old adrenaline work early for Marquette. McIlvain, jump time. A 12-2 lead for Marquette, but Duke Capel to Grant Hill for a jam. Duke supporters looking for help because Miller brings the Warriors back. But there's too much Grant Hill. Finished with 22, a big second half for the All-America. Duke wins by 10 in the West Regional. Missouri on the break. Booker to Kelly Thames. Tigers up by 11. Late in the game, though, the steal, the basket. Syracuse back in it. Adrian Autry scored 31 in the second half. Game tied at 79. We go to overtime. The miss. Missouri, the break. Melvin Booker scores. Missouri advances. They win an OT final 98-88. The Tigers, they will face the winner of Louisville and Arizona in the West Regional Final. The Southeast then looks like this. Duke wins by nine. Robinson, the big dog for Purdue, already has 26. And Purdue by three in the first quarter. All right, let's go to Gainesville, huh? The Gators lumbering toward their plane fight to Miami. Now, whether it's Uniondale, Long Island, or in their home state, the Gators are still having a problem with R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I think we're a little upset that we didn't get to play North Carolina. Uh, we felt very positive about playing them, and we felt we could uh, go in there and make a big statement. We knew we felt we could go in there and beat them. If we can get off to a good start, then then not only um, you know I think will the fans perhaps get behind that, but but of course whoever wins the, the BC Indiana game, those guys don't want to play UConn either. So perhaps we can pick their fans up too. But we want to get in the position to be able to win a national championship, and we're going we're going to try like crazy to keep knocking on the door so that we can get there. And we're, we're knocking on the door again, and we're still alive. And We feel we're the favorites, but I don't think everybody really feels we're the favorite. We're just going out here to play. It doesn't matter who's the underdog or the, or the favorite, because, you know, everybody can get beat at any time. If people still want to or do, don't want to give us our credit, then uh, that's fine. You know, we're still going to come out and play hard each game and uh, work as hard as we have been all season long. And, you know, if the Gators win tomorrow night, they may have a date against my alma mater, Indiana, if the Hoosiers take care of Boston College. Today at the Hoosiers press conference, Bob Knight was asked if his players were afraid of him. If I've ever shot a kid, I'd be goddamn scared to play for me. If I, if I walked out there and I'm saying, boy, that some bitch shot three guys last year. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I'd want to do that if I was a player. You know, I mean, you, what am I? Do you want to take a good look at me? I mean, goddamn, I'm 53 years old. Who the hell am I going to scare? Out of shape? Bad back? I mean, Jesus. That's Bob. Uh, Indiana, Boston College is the early game uh, tomorrow. And uh, you will see the highlights here tomorrow on First Sports because uh, you may not see the early part of that game from Miami. But don't worry. We have you covered. You'll see those highlights first right here tomorrow night on First Sports. All right. We are near the end of the week. And... Uh, that means the subject is the NCAA tournament. As we ask, do you know your sports? Which player holds the NCAA tournament record for the most, the most, the most three-point field goals made during his collegiate career? All right. Think about that one. Give us a call. 
The phone number here, 570-4302. And from one bouncing ball, we go to another. This time it's tennis when First Sports continues. This portion of 44 News at 10 is brought to you by your Lincoln Mercury dealers. It's a first.